In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to make one of these triangle wooden wall shelves. Coming up. Now I know you've probably seen a lot of videos of people building these or plans building these and they all have that 30 degree or 60 degree corner. Now that looks all fine and dandy and it's pretty easy to do if you have a miter saw or a table saw. If you only have hand tools and kind of limited skill, I'm going to show you how to build this one here. It's got a 90 degree on the top and the two bottom angles are non-specific. They line up to however you do it. It's really easy, no power tools, just hand tools. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I'm using 1x3 poplar, which is actually 25 by 3 quarter of an inch. You can use any width or you know material you want, and it's not going to change. This process will still work. So you're definitely going to want to make sure if you bought just straight stock that the, the ends are square. If they're not, the first thing you're going to want to do is cut one straight line on one end to begin with. So like I said, uh, the design I'm doing isn't going to require cutting any specific angles of any kind. But the first thing we're going to do is cut the two uprights to a triangle. The triangle uprights are going to be 16 inches. Well, this side's going to be 16. This side's going to be 15 and a quarter. And that's going to make up for the thickness of this triangle as it comes to meet it. My material is 3 quarters of an inch thick, so if I make this side 15 and a quarter, they're going to come down the same amount. We'll lay out our two pieces, one of which is going to be 16 inches long and the other is going to be 15 and a quarter. So we'll go ahead, we'll lay those out, we'll take our square, because you want to make sure this, all the corners meet up really nice and perfect. We'll draw those lines across and then uh, we'll get those cut and we'll keep on going. So we'll go ahead and get uh, the two uprights of the triangle cut off. Also, if you happen to have a miter box, that would be another good way to get these 90 degree cuts really straight and perfect. But like I said, the way I'm doing this, we're not using any power tools, we're not cutting any specific angles. This is just a saw, a vise or a clamp, and a tape measure and a pencil. That's all we need to make these triangles. And as I go along, I kind of like to just sand up my edges quick as I'm going. So when I get to the end, I don't have a whole bunch of sanding to do at once. So you can do that or you can sand it all up before you assemble. So the next step is actually going to be to glue and nail the top of our triangle together. Because we're not doing any specific measurement or angles on the bottom, we're going to want to get that top glued and nailed together. That way it's a definite angle that's going to stay the same and we can lay out our bottom piece of the triangle. So we'll go ahead and do that now. We're not going to put too much glue on this, just a little bit of glue. We'll spread it on with our fingers. I mean, this isn't like a structural piece, and that will be good enough. You could just glue this together if you wanted, but you'd have to strap it up with like a, uh, a tape or a strap or something like that. It'd be a little more difficult. This is kind of an easy way to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and just use a couple little finishing nails. Uh, depending on the look that you want is what, how it's going to depend. And because my material was three quarters of an inch thick, you're going to want to space them up half that. And I would just go ahead and get them started. And then they'll be ready to nail in when you need them to. So I'll just get my second nail started here and we'll be ready to go. Now to drive these in, I've kind of just rested it against my visor. You can rest it against anything. And you're going to want to make sure that you get this connection really nice and even and flat. So we'll just kind of tap our nails in to get them started and then we'll get them finished in. So we'll make sure, we'll get them tapped in, get them started, make sure it's still even and then we'll finish driving them in all the way. We'll go ahead and get that second one in all the way. So the next step is going to be putting on the bottom of our triangle. And how we're going to do that, now that we've got the top nailed together, like I say, we've got that consistent solid angle. And what that angle is, you know what, I don't, I don't know and it doesn't actually really matter. Because as you can see, you can set the bottom underneath the top of your triangle, hold it still, and you can just simply draw the two lines. And then what we'll do when we cut this, we'll cut them slightly on the big side, just about a blade width on the big side, and we put it in, it'll just spread this triangle a tiny bit, but not enough to matter. 
and it'll be a nice snug fit. This will be a really nice looking corner. So if you have a combination square, that's going to be the easiest way to draw these lines across. But if you don't have a com combination square or a square of any kind, measure the distance from here to the bottom of that line. Draw it on the other side, mark it on the other side, I should say. And then you'll have lines on each side the same and you can draw your line across. But with a combination square, it's going to be super easy to just draw that line across. So we'll draw the other one across here. And then um, to cut that angle, what you're going to do is you have to flip it and you have to draw that line across on the other side as well. And then you're going to be following that line, cutting the saw on an angle like this to meet down that line and to meet down that line and end up with that angled cut. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So making this cut will arguably probably be the most difficult part of this build. And like I said, we're going to make the cut a little oversized. So not on the line, but just a blade width past. And this is definitely the part of the project where you want to slow down if you're going fast. Take your time and do a really nice cut. You're going to want to really take your time with this. And make sure you get a really nice, straight, even angled cut on both ends. So we're just finishing cutting off the second side and then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, put that on there. And as you're sanding the ends of your angles, make sure you don't sand off that nice point that you cut, because if that's what's going to make the nice corner of your triangle. And if these angles, when you cut them, if you're not bang on the line, it's not the end of the world. They're still going to come together. It's still going to glue and nail up nicely. So don't worry too much about that. So now, as you can see, you've got that bottom piece cut, and that's going to slide right in here and nail and glue up really nice and flat. And once it's nailed in there, it's going to make a really, really nice corner. Once you get that just flush in there like that, it's going to look really good. In my opinion, that corner connection actually looks better than that 30 degree cut that a lot of people are doing. Now when you nail this bottom piece on, this is the bottom here, depending on where your triangle is going to hang on your shelf, might depend on where you want to nail. If you're going to be looking up at the bottom of your triangle, you'll probably want to nail down from the top. If you're going to be viewing the top of the triangle more, depending on the height on the wall, then you might want to nail up from the bottom. It'll, we'll just come right through the corner like this with a length of nail that isn't going to stick out the other side. So I'm going to be looking more at the bottom of my triangle for where it hangs on the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and get my nails started in the ends exactly where I want them. And a good way to actually figure out where the nails are going to be, I, I kind of just kind of eyeballed it and it worked out. But if you set it up, you can kind of look to see where your nail is going to come across and you could mark your piece of wood like that and that's where you can put your nails in. And it's definitely going to be good to have those nails set all the way, pretty much all the way through this so that when you give it that first hit with your hammer, it sets into this bottom piece and it's not moving around on you. So we'll go ahead and we'll nail this up. First we'll put some glue on actually. So to nail this up, I would probably go ahead and stand it up. That's probably going to be the easiest way to nail it. Uh, then you can get the top, the top piece of the triangle pushed right down flat so the bottom is going to be flat. You push it all down nice and snug and then we'll go ahead and we'll nail it up and then we'll do the other side. So we'll just finish nailing in our last nail here. And if you wanted to, you could definitely layer in another shelf. And to do that, all you would do is just like with that bottom board, you, you'd put it in like this, and then you would just mark your lines on each side, whatever, whatever height you want. And then you'd probably want to measure up from the bottom to a certain point of the height that you want the shelf as well. And like I said, this isn't going to require any specific angles in either corners. This one's 90 degrees, and these ones are whatever angle it ends up being depending on the lengths that you use. So it's really easy, really simple. And definitely make sure to check out my channel every Monday and Wednesdays for a lot of really easy DIY, you know, wooden project builds. Most of them using just hand tools, really simple stuff, stuff you can do at home, DIY builds, also tool reviews, tool how-to videos. A lot of really great content, guys. And if you're new to the channel, definitely think about subscribing to not miss any of my videos. Comment, like, whatever you want to do, check it out. You're going to love it.